What you are definitely not thinking is that they got together and came up with a secret handshake complete with a hip bump because that's simply not the way 34-year-old women behave. <laughs> Slow news day, huh, Candace? So, big surprise, Candace Owens is upset. I know, this comes as a major shock to all of us. She's never been upset about anything before ever in her life. And Candace has been upset about some pretty inane things before. But I gotta be honest, this one takes the cake for me. So Taylor Swift is dating this big football player, Travis Kelsey, and for reasons that make no sense to me, people have opinions about it. But she was at a game of his with her friend, his team won a touchdown, and she did that little dance, that little secret handshake with her friend that you saw in the clip before. And for some reason, this touched Candace Owens very deeply, struck a nerve, and she decided that she had to speak her piece about it. If I told you that a 34-year-old woman got together with a 28-year-old woman, what, what would you think they would do hanging out? Now you might be thinking, oh, maybe they'll have some wine and talk about their problems. Okay, age appropriate, I'll give it to you. What you are definitely not thinking is that they got together and came up with a secret handshake complete with a hip bump, because that's simply not the way 34-year-old women behave. Unless you're Taylor Swift, who I've been pointing out has is cosplaying, and now I'd like to change it for the record. I say that she cosplays a 15-year-old. I'm actually going to say she's actually cosplaying an eight-year-old. Her entire fandom is based upon the fact that as a 34-year-old woman, she acts like a cringe eight-year-old. So Taylor Swift, you know, she collects friends, like some people collect Beanie Babies, is now best friends with Brittany Mahomes because she's dating, Taylor Swift is dating, uh, the Kansas Chief player, Travis Kels. And of course, since she instantly became best friends with her because she instantly becomes best friends with everybody because she has the brain of an eight-year-old. They decided at some point when we couldn't see this, they got together and they came up with a secret handshake complete with a hip bump. I'm sorry, what is the offense? Having friends? Having fun? Celebrating because your boyfriend's team got a touchdown? Why are you so upset? You know what I think it is? I think Candace is upset because she doesn't have any friends. So she sees people having friends and having a good time. And it just ignites this, this deep primal rage within her because she's insufferable and she doesn't have any friends of her own because no one wants to spend time with her. Why? Why can't people see this? Now, why does this frustrate me? Because I talk about this all the time. We are also facing a crisis where adults want to behave like children and children want to behave like adults. And people think this is cute. It's not. This is not how 34-year-old women behave. We don't come up with secret handshakes. We don't hip bump each other. That is childish. It is theatrical. It should never be seen. I have such an issue with this. It just makes me cringe every inch of my body. Every time I watch it, it makes me cringe. It should never be seen. Girl, you're so dramatic. Apparently, it's too woke to experience any kind of joy or fun. We don't do that as adults. Misery only. But this isn't the first time Lil Miss Pick Me has decided to attack a famous female artist. The truth is that country music isn't country anymore. It's a bunch of people that have just very little talent, like Marin Morris, <laughs> calling for people with the most talent, like Morgan Wallen and Jason Aldean, to be canceled because they are country for them. They wear country face, Marin Morris and these types, right? They pretend to like country music, but they despise country fans. They hate you if you live in a small town. They hate the small town lifestyle. They hate the small town values. They resent you. For them, wearing a cowboy hat is a costume, not a way of life, not a rancher or a farmer. Oh, you hadn't heard? Only ranchers and farmers are allowed to listen to country music. It's forbidden to anyone else. What did Marin Morris ever do other than write absolute bangers? And like Candace Owens could ever be considered an authority figure on good music. Do you guys remember when that rap song, Trump's rap song, First Day Out came out and it was absolutely horrible? If you haven't heard it, pause this real quick and go look it up on YouTube or Spotify. All you need is about 10 seconds of it. It's horrible. Anyway, anyone who considers that song good music cannot be considered someone with good music taste. And guess what? Orange man bad, the whole world mad. <laughs> this is just absolutely genius. It's not the word I would have used. I just had this image of Donald Trump making one of those TikToks that's like, 
did I just write the song of the summer? Which honestly would have been more entertaining than watching Candace do whatever this little number was. You go, girl. You go far away from me, please. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can always check out my personal YouTube page at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.